Hi, Bill Edstrom here. In this video, I want to show you how to set the file tempo for imported audio. Sometimes the audio is not synced or doesn't have a file tempo, in which case the time stretching features on the track won't actually work correctly, meaning if you speed up or slow down the tempo, the imported audio won't actually time stretch and match those changes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To get started, I'm just going to drag in something from my desktop that doesn't have the file tempo set. I'll just drop it right here. If we go into the inspector and then click right on the audio event, you can see right here it says file tempo not set. Now if you know the file tempo, you can just click here and type it in. But a lot of the times you may not know exactly what that file tempo is. Now as long as it's not set, anything I do in changing the tempo, even if I have the algorithm set right here, it says tempo time stretch is set to drums. You would think that as I change the tempo, this will speed up and slow down. So I'm going to just put this in at 50 and you should hear a dramatic slowdown if it were working correctly. But you don't hear any change at all. Now I'm going to just change that to 200. All right, so if you know the file tempo, you can type it in here. If you don't, you could use a tap tempo program on your cell phone or your iPhone, which is what I've often done. But Studio One version 2 has Melodyne, which can actually analyze the tempo. And this is the way that I've been doing this. So all we need to do is edit with Melodyne. That's Command M on a Mac or Control M on a PC. Now in this area in the Melodyne editor view, you can see 200. Well, that's the project tempo.